We're about to roll out here up at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. I got a 1962 Impala. Very slick car. Paint's nice and silky on here. You can check it out. It's got a 283 in it. It's a date code correct motor. What I like to do up here is a little test drive, point out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what the car is about before you make the drive down here. We're located in Hendersonville, Tennessee, about 15 minutes north of Nashville, Tennessee. You can check our website out, maplemotors.com. Got plenty of information. All of our cars and in inventory will be on there with 100 detailed pictures, financing information, and shipping information. For now, hit that subscribe button. We're going for a test drive. We'll take a look around in the interior before we take off. Just kind of check some stuff out. Horn does work. It's got a brand new radio in it, still with a sticker on it. Interior is awesome looking in here. The carpet looks nice. It looks fairly new. I like the, uh, the mats they put down in here too. Headliner, look at that. I'm telling you, this car is nice. We'll go ahead and start her up. She starts up easy, 283. All right, let's see, we got wipers here. Let's try our wipers. They do work. Our horn does work. Let's try our fan. We do not have any AC, but I wanna see. I can hear the heater cutting on. You can see it moving. Kind of use that little envelope there as a reference. You see it blowing. We'll check that out, find out if the heat works. Go ahead and cut it off. You can see the radio, it's cutting on. Sounds good, let's rock it. I'm gonna point out any kind of flaws that I can find. Kind of like there's no seat belts in this car. There is in the back seat. I think there'd be some up front. Let me check one more time. Nope, no seat belts. Uh, we'll stop at the gas station because it's showing below a quarter tank of gas. Our clock's not working up here. It does show uh, 1,200 miles on the dash. Of course, I can't stand behind that. It's a 62 model does have that date code correct motor could be the original one this thing runs pretty good though it's definitely been rebuilt if it is everything's silky smooth Let's see how she drives still cold at the moment that steering is nice and tight does have power steering we're not pulling to the left or right, we're going straight down the road. The steering wheel's lined up good. Just kind of checking everything out here. Got your old school ashtray. Put my key in there. Once we get stopped, I'll open that up, see what's inside. Speedometer's coming up. Not correct at all, though. We're going about 35 mile an hour. It's saying 20, and it bounces back down to 10, and it comes back up. Definitely old school here. Let's check our brakes. The brakes are nice. They stop fast. signals flashing on the dash here but our mileage is going up I mean it is reading we're gonna stop here at the gas station one thing I don't want to do is run out we'll continue on the drive we're getting ready to leave the gas station here I put about $20 worth of fuel in it. You can see that gas gauge already came up to a half a tank before I got back in it. So the gas gauge does work. We do have fuel. Let's keep rolling.
super easy to drive. Steering's nice and tight. Acceleration's all there. The only thing that needs to be hooked up is that kick down. I don't think it's much of a highway car. I think about 65 mile an hour probably be all right. Yeah, there's your neutral. So. See, it don't have another gear to go to, so probably about 65 be topping it out. Unless you got the rear gear changed out, which will help a lot on top end. Suspension's nice and smooth. We've been hitting a few bumps coming down this road. I can hardly feel them. Here's a, here's a real test on the suspension. There's a big hump in the road here. We're going to hit it. It's right here by this yellow truck. Nice and smooth, nice and smooth. I think that may have been a bigger bump. It's kind of a drop off we drove on. I gotta go stop by the house of parts. We hit that bump again, might as well. Nice and smooth, couldn't even feel it on that side one thing I like about these old cars they feel like you're riding in a boat especially this one holding pallets are so long we pulled into Napa I'll see y'all in a minute we got what I needed from old Napa it's time to head on back to the lot finish up this test drive here make sure I don't hit nothing for one. Here's that bump again. <laughs> you can't even tell I'm going over it in this car. It's kind of funny. There's no reason to even point it out. You can't see it. Pretty sure I've went over everything on this car right now. What, what I got left is to go back to the car a lot, go over all the details on the outside, paint-wise, which this car is beautiful paint-wise. Not gonna be a lot of flaws there. Um, we'll check out the engine bay, we'll pop the trunk. But there's, there's so much that's been redone on this car, but there's a little stuff that I can pick. Like I look, uh, when I first got in here, and it looks like somebody sat down, maybe a screwdriver in their back pocket. There's a little bitty hole right here in the seat. But I'll go over all that in this next video. If you want to see more on this car, please check that out. It'll be on the bottom right of the screen at the end of this video. I appreciate y'all watching. If you have any other questions, jump on my website, maplemotors.com. I got 100 detailed pictures, financing information, and transportation information. We update once a week. We're actually, uh, they were cleaning some cars today. We got about 10 cars going on Monday. So going to have a good update. A lot of good stuff too. So be sure to check that out. And if you got any more questions comment below i'll try to get back to them i answer them constantly every day or just give us a call 615-822-4444 i appreciate y'all watching y'all have a good day